Going into Arsenal's break in January where the team took a warm weather training trip to Dubai, some things were quite frustrating for us at the time. We were creating tons of chances but just not finishing them off and proceeding to lose 3 of our last 4 games. We got knocked out of the FA Cup against Liverpool despite being the better team. The team looked shaky and Jakob Kivio looked like a nightmare at left back. Constantly getting beat by wingers, looking like he lacked any positional awareness at the position and just looked like a fish out of water. Every Arsenal fan at the time, including me, just kind of cringed at the sight of Kivio playing at left back. And it wasn't really his fault. He was only playing there because of how injury riddled we were, missing both Zinchenko and Timber. He was also kind of a fairly inexperienced centre back, brought in as kind of a project player, having to play out of position in the most competitive league in the world for a team that had ambitions for a title. It was an extremely hard circumstance for Jakob Kivior to be in. But fast forward two or three months, Kivior is looking like an extremely solid player at left back and is a really good centre back. Jakob Kivior has been a key reason why we have only conceded 5 goals in our last 8 games in all competitions. But how did Jakob Kivior go from looking lost and confused at left back to being an extremely solid full back that only adds to the team's quality? Well, that's what we will be talking about today. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Gunner Central here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And let's get into it. Now, going into the January break, Arsenal were on a drastic and sudden decline, losing all of our last three games before the break. Kivio played in the last two of those games, that being the 2-1 defeat against Fulham and the 2-0 loss against Liverpool. And in both of those games, Jakob Kivio looked absolutely horrific. First of all, the Fulham game was probably his worst he had ever played for Arsenal at the time. Now, the team itself looked a mess in that game, but Jakob was by far one of our worst players, constantly getting beat by Reed, looking absolutely horrific in the inverted left back role, and you can't really blame him, being that he was and still is a centre back. And asking a centre back who is not necessarily quick or great on the ball to play as an inverted left back, yeah, that was never going to work. Kivio was so bad in that game against Fulham that he got substituted just 45 minutes into the game for Tomiyasu who looked much better in that position. Now what's weird is that statistically Kivio wasn't even all that horrible in the game but off the eye test you could tell that he was our weak point in the back four and that Fulham just kept taking advantage of him. Now going into the next game against Liverpool at home in the FA Cup, Kivio was maybe somehow even worse in that game. Kivio struggled more defensively, his long passes were just all kinds of off and he had the own goal that sent Liverpool on their way to beating us 2-0. Although I still don't really think that that own goal that Kivio did score was all his fault and more so basically down to just the fact that it wasn't really our night. But either way, two back-to-back -back horror shows from Kivio, two back-to-back -back stinkers from Kivio, it didn't leave me and any other Arsenal fan with much hope with Kivio at left back. But after the game against Liverpool, Arsenal and Kivio got a much needed break going to Dubai for some warm weather training. And since that break, Arsenal have been absolutely impeccable. And Kivio has looked so comfortable and assured looking like one of the better defenders in the league somehow. But what changed? Kivio is still playing in the same position as he did against Fulham and Liverpool. Kivio is still having to defend wingers one-on-one, -on -one, so why the sudden change? Well, a simple but genius move made by Arteta has helped Arsenal and Kivio drastically. Instead of Arteta asking Kivio to play the inverted left back role like Zinchenko, Arteta has now made Ben White the inverted right back allowing Kivio to play a much more traditional left back role, which allows Kivio to not have to be so good on the ball and also allows Kivio to focus on his biggest strength as a player, defending. It also suits Ben White perfectly because Ben White is such a talented footballer on the ball that it fits him perfectly. Since the winter break and the tactical change from Arteta, Kivio has been a more than solid player for us and at times looking like one of our best players on the field. Kivio didn't play in our 5-0 win against Palace or our 2-0 win over Forest, but Kivio came on for Zinchenko against Liverpool at halftime. Zinchenko was struggling mightily and the game was tied 1-1, and I remember thinking at the time, yeah, Kivio coming on now against Liverpool, it's 1-1, 
this isn't going to be great. But Kivio came on in a huge game and was really, really solid. Helped us to win the game 3-1. With Kivio being asked to do less work on the ball and focus more on the defensive end of the game, he has been looking so much more comfortable. Now, obviously, Kivio isn't the only reason why we have been so good. But with the opposition once looking to just target Kivio when attacking, now they can't seem to do that anymore because Kivio is so much better defensively, it makes it very difficult for the opposition to find any sort of success. Kivio is a lot better in his new role and watching him play at left back, it's very easy for me at least to forget that like with Ben White, neither of these two players are fullbacks. They are traditionally centre backs that have just been turned into playing a fullback role. Kivio does his job so well at left back, that it's very easy to forget that he's even playing football sometimes. He doesn't necessarily get involved all that much offensively, but when he does, he more than does his part. He has scored a goal and got three assists since the 4th of February where we beat Liverpool 3-1. Kivio has been really, really solid for us, and it is really needed with all the injuries that we have been sustaining. Now, if he should stay at the starting left-back role when Zinchenko is back, Probably not. I wouldn't mind him starting at left back for certain games where it's likely that Sinchenko will get exploited defensively. So Kivio starting left back there, I wouldn't mind. And when Timber comes back, I just don't see Kivio playing left back at all. I think as good as Kivio can play left back, I think Kivio should still be primarily a backup center back. But he is such a good player to have in the team. A good utility player that can play both left back and center back. And now we know he can play left back to a semi high level, which will help the team with depth but also it will help Kivio with his growth it's allowing Kivio to play more minutes than he would if he only played center back and it's allowing us to kind of play a little bit of different football allow Ben White to be the inverted right back which has helped Ben White significantly it's helped Saka significantly it's helped Erdogan significantly being that now that Ben White can invert on that right back role it gives more space to Saka and Erdogan so Kivio coming on Kivio playing so well for Arsenal at left back has had a domino effect for this team, has allowed other players to have more space when they play, which allows them to play even better, allowing the team to play better, and thus having the form that we are on. So yeah, although it's not all Kivio, I thought Kivio has been extremely impressive recently, and I'm hoping to see this progression continue for the Polish international. And I mean, it's just crazy thinking back to it that we only spent £21 million on a 23-year-old Polish defender from Spezia, and the fact that he's progressing to be such a solid player and still has such a high ceiling. Yeah, that was kind of a steal of a transfer. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me know in the comments below what have you guys thought about Kivio's performances recently. Should he keep being developed as a left back? Would you like to see him being put back to a center back role when everyone is fit? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.